This is a portrait of patience. These miners have spent a year picketing to get their jobs back. But Warrior Met Coal has yet to offer them even what they earned before they went on strike. If we could just get back to what five years ago, I think, I think a lot of guys would be happy with that. That's 365 days without regular pay, the longest strike in Alabama history, with 1,100 miners living off a union strike fund. You know, I had plans to, the, to build a house or to you know, move on with my life. Uh, all that money's gone. Every day they watch non-union replacement workers drive to their old jobs. That's led to some confrontations by replacement workers and by striking miners, prompting a judge to temporarily ban picketing. When the strikers return, Chris Brubaker says there will be some harsh words for those who cross the line. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of things said in the bathhouse that probably shouldn't be said on, uh, out in public. Descending more than 600 meters beneath the earth for scraps of coal is a dangerous job. In 2001, mine number five exploded, killing 13 miners. A year after this strike began, these mine workers are still out here drawing attention to their cause, occasionally getting a honk of support from passersby. We asked Warrior Met Cole for comment, but they didn't respond. Much love, stay safe uh, from Tom Morello and Ransom, wherever you are. They've become a cause celeb, drawing support from nationally known activists like Rage Against the Machine guitarist Tom Morello, and by taking their cause on the road to New York, I've heard about where the miners picketed in front of BlackRock, a major investor and warrior met coal. The Alabama miners are hoping to take part in a comeback of sorts for unions in the U.S., even here in the anti-union South, in a so-called right-to-work state that bans unions from collecting dues from any worker who doesn't volunteer them. The desire for workers who heretofore have had to give concessions at every bargaining uh, table, discovering that they're a commodity and they're a force to be reckoned with. After 365 days, these miners say they're not going anywhere. And we're not going to back down. We will not back down. We will not uh, turn around. And if it's one day longer, one day stronger. Even if it takes another year. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Brookwood, Alabama.